Tell me more about your life as a blended family. Well, I've got to say, at first, it was very, very, very difficult. Um, because had, I said no? or <laughs> That didn't help. <laughs> but once we did get married, there was the biggest thing I can remember is there was always a loyalty issue. The kids wanted to make sure that they were number one in their parents' eyes. And as far as the husband and wife, so as far as me and John, I wanted to know that I was number one in his life and he wanted, you know, vice versa. And so there was a lot of power pulling within the family as far as who was going to be more important. And a lot of times that was played on one another. And so there was a lot of difficulty with that. Um, Co-parenting issues was always an issue. Um, figure out what my role was as a stepmom, him figuring out what his role was as a stepdad, um, for us to be able to find out what was comfortable for each kid. And to be honest, each one felt differently and seen us in a different way in, as far as a step parent is concerned. So you kind of have to learn individual personalities to be able to figure out what your role would be in, in their life. So there was those difficulties. There was the difficulties of planning schedules because there are some things that you wanted to do together as a family. So to try to get all six of us together at one time was sometimes a real challenge. But then it was also nice to be able to have special times that we could have individually as well. I remember at first, for at least the first two years, John and I made it um, important that there were special times that were still done with that he was able to do with just his kids. So whether that be that the three of them would go fishing or the three of them would go to a movie together and I would stay home um, and not join them, we and I would do the same thing with you and Britt. But there were times that we still wanted to keep that importance there and not have to make push our whole family being together on you too much, but that we still were able to um, enjoy our time together as a nuclear family as much as we could and then slowly blend us all together. I know that the times that we had when the six of us could be together, it was important for us to be very intentional about what we did and how we did it because we wanted to build memories. We wanted to be able to, we really felt and believed that if we could build memories together, that is what was going to bring our family closer and be able to help us blend. We had a goal in mind. We knew what we wanted to be like as a blended family, but we also knew that it was going to take time to get there. And so we set out a path and we didn't expect it overnight. And we knew that it was going to take a lot of work, but we were very intentional about having it um, be done. And I can say now um, with the fact that I have lost my husband at, right now, their stepdad, that it was because of those times that we were very intentional and because of those times that we really worked hard at blending our family and took it slow and didn't put any pressure on. That is why we are a family today. And um, I am blessed to say that we were able to blend and we were able to make a family of our own. And even without him here in our family, but in our hearts, we still are a family. And that is what is the most precious to me. Absolutely. Yeah. It's amazing to see. It really is. That's what really um, says a lot about it um, because... You know, in the family, your biological parents are like the anchor of you in that blended family. Um, and so the fact that that John is gone now, um, Ella and Isaac kind of lost that anchor. Um, but they had become attached enough to to us and to you that they're still part of the family. We're still together. I think that's a, a beautiful thing. And it says a lot about um, what you guys were able to incorporate within us. I think that's great. Um, I think it was really cool to... Um, hearing you talk about how you you tried to keep that that special bond between the the small nuclear family, because that's one of the the main things that I, I felt like I was losing in the blended family is, well, what about the special thing that we have going on, you know, um, it's you know just the three of us, you know, and all the times that we had just the three of us, and wondering if is it ever gonna be like that again, or now is this new guy and these two annoying step-siblings <laughs> step going to be taking along during everything? And so just the fact that that you were intentional about that, you know, made a lot, and you were 
just that, that idea of patience, that you let us come along at our own pace, you didn't force anything. Um, and there's one thing that I'm learning as I get older is that when you try and force kids to do things, it doesn't go well. Um, if they feel pressure, if they feel like they need to do a certain thing or a certain way, um, they're, this is not going to go well. Even if they go along with it, um, that is, their heart's not going to be in it a lot of times. And so you gave us the room to grow into that. Really, those relationships gave us the room to um, just grow as a family and, and not force it made all the difference. Um, just one practical thing that, um, well, a couple, a couple things, but one practical thing that you guys that always remembered is you never expected me to call um, when you stepped at John Dad. Um, it was never something that was expected of me, forced me. You know, you should be calling him Dad because it's your dad now. No, I, I placed a really high value on, on the biological parents, and I didn't want to take away from my real dad by calling John Dad. Um, and I, you know, I do have some regrets about that now, but it was a decision that you allowed me to make. Um, and I think that really gave us room to grow in our relationship. Um, and when uh, I was annoyed by my younger siblings, <laughs> you, you let us just work through that. You know, you weren't all, you guys are going to be best friends, da, 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 but you gave us opportunities to spend time together, create good memories, and eventually those things wore off, and I, I love them. <laughs> but it wasn't all. It wasn't like you're pulling teeth. I think it could have been. You know, you're patient, which I think was all huge. And he ended up being the best man at my wedding, even though I could not stand him when we were younger. <laughs> so that says a lot too. <laughs> yes, it does. Yes. It